Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with a room build. I'm going to be building a dream wardrobe or a dreamy wardrobe. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to start this. Uh, but anyways, room builds, in case you have not watched one before, they basically are just a build of a room of your preference. And you know what? Do we, let's not go with a box. And uh, then you can save them in The Sims 4 as a room and then people can just download them as a room. So it's quite good. It's quite good. So I'm thinking we need like a grand entrance. So we're going to have double doors that are kind of going to go like that. And then I feel like because we're a little bit limited in what actually like what shelving units and stuff we could actually get in The Sims 4. Um... We'll just do the best that we can, but I think we'll put some shelving or wardrobes here and then maybe we'll make some like inset ones like this and then have a couple of mirrors and then more inset ones like that on either side. So it's going to be like a mother trucker wardrobe, that is for sure. And then in the center here, we're going to have a table with perfumes or something along those lines. And then over here, we're going to have some windows. Is this way too big? I feel like I went a bit over the top. Is this over the top? Hmm. Nah. <laughs> it you you cannot go over the top with a dream wardrobe because it's gonna be a dream. So you know, I'm just gonna do the interior and exterior white because or white, as my mother has taught me, because I just uh, can see more easily that way. In terms of windows, I reckon we'll just have windows on this end because then it can be easily added to homes, I think. And do we want them to have like classic windows, like really nice ones? Like not necessarily modern, because apparently, I mean, I love modern design, but apparently uh, you guys have been asking for some more traditional stuff lately. So we could go a little bit more. That's nice. Actually, we could get the, <laughs> we're going to go with these ones. Okay, done. We'll keep moving. We will get this done at the end because those are really sweet. And maybe we can have windows just on one side here. Okay, so we've got a little bit of light coming in. And then for the doorway, oh, we want, can we actually get the matching? Yeah, we can get a matching door into the wardrobe. This is basically going to look like a shop. You could probably have this as a shop, uh, unless we do go like these doors, which I kind of like the mix of, I know it's not really traditional, but I'm going to go with it because I'm kind of doing my dream wardrobe here. We could go Blackwood because it's very glamorous doing the darker, a darker wood, or we could go white tiles. I'm not going to do that one. Mm. Or oh, I could just go carpet. I think there's something about having dark floorboards and lighter walls, though, that I quite like the idea of. And then we could have something like... Maybe not blue, but a neutral colour would probably be nice. I don't, I don't want this to just... Like be overly girly necessarily. I want it to be like, depending on your taste, a guy could like it too. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm going to sneeze in a second because I've got a bit of a cold. <coughs> oh, cough. I do apologize. I hope that doesn't happen too much in this. It's getting cold in Australia and it really sucks. It's really sad. Oh dear. Uh, most of the world is now going into the warmer. Uh, get, well, you guys are probably having a bit more warmer weather coming. Uh, whether it's like normally, whether the weather is actually going to be cooler than my winter in Australia, at least you're getting warmer weather to what compared to what you're used to. I feel like chandelier -y things. Okay, this is going to have to be heavily edited because I keep coughing. Okay, so we've got the three chandelier type things going on here. We could make these windows actually dark wood. I think it starts looking a bit, yeah, 
Okay, we're gonna do it like that. All right, so in the middle, if we had some of these kind of in the middle section, although I'm not really liking that one. We might need ones with the bigger surface area, like these are pretty cool if we join them together or make them look adjoined. And we should have some chairs too in here. Okay, so we have the center area where all of the fun stuff's gonna go on. Then we probably need to have the actual big wardrobes or something over here. I guess we could have them like that with some clothes on top. Or what about these? No, I'm not into those. Not digging them, not digging them at all. Hmm, that's okay. What about this? That's pretty. Or we could just go with these kind of plain ones. Just the whites. Pop them on either side here. Like that and maybe we can have a shoe one over there. We, go we are definitely going to need some really nice mirrors though. Decorations. Mirrors. Like that. And then what I personally like to do is just merge them together and also using the nine key, push them up. Sorry for you guys who have heard me explain this a million times, but I always get comments on videos asking how I do this. Um, there you go. So if you're wondering, now you have like a full wall, which is kind of, kind of cool. So we're going to pop mirrors on this one too. Pop those like that. Lift it up to where the skirting is. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Pretty. I wonder what columns would look like in here as well if we kind of. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, no. Ooh. What do we think of those on either side of the mirrors? Fancy schmancy. Let's try a few others just to see which one's the best. That's too big, like perfect heel. That one's quite cute. I mean, it works. Yes. You know, I think that's going to suit this room better once we've got all the furnishing in. I think we might go with furniture that looks kind of French noir. Uh, that. When I think of dream wardrobes, I think Chloe Kardashian's shoe wardrobe. If you guys have seen photos of it, it is ridiculously ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah, I, d I don't know. Like, I think I feel a bit sick looking at it because I'm just like, I can't how many... Louboutins are in there and I'm like holy moly it's just wrong to have that many in my opinion anyway I don't know if someone's watching this who has like heaps of a very expensive item I mean good for you if it's what you love but I just feel like if you buy heaps of it over and over again it's like just over consumption over consuming it's just me though. You know what? Should we move this back and open it up a bit? That look better. This thing's in the way. There we go. Cause then those like go with each other and it looks pretty and then we can add an extra window in. It'll be like la di da. Nice. Uh, in terms of curtains, I don't know. I mean, I'm all for buying beautiful things. Like, if you want to design a handbag or design a pair of shoes, go for it in, like, or a couple. Don't get me wrong. This is too small. It's too small. Damn. Too small. Can we... I mean, we could scale these up, but it just looks ginormous. Is that too big? Like, it, I mean, the crossover looks terrible in any case. If we made it a darker color, can you still tell? Oh, sozzles. 
Mm, it's not too bad, actually, the crossover there. I just don't really want them to cross over. This is the problem. <laughs> Ooh, that's chic. Uh, we could try this one because it's kind of neutrals. Maybe they sit slightly outside of the room. Could put a pillar in the middle, perhaps. Don't know. That was my arm, by the way. <laughs> so anyone laughed at that sound? Uh, okay, and it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. So, what can we do? Another idea is to have these. Kind of in between there. Or oh, these work. Those are quite cool, actually. Let's have these hanging down. Ooh, chic. Um, there we go. Pop those across. What do we think of that? Is that working? You know what? I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. And uh, I, I quite like it. Let's get some, oh, what's the cloves? Ye, no, 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 no. The cloves rack things. Well, they're not cloves racks, but they're cloves on the wall. Wall decorations? Here we go. So, we can kind of put a few of them here. Maybe this is the his side. So we'll get some his stuff. And then we can have a her side and have her stuff. Mm, we've got a lot of green. We'll add some blue in and then we'll get... Nice. Nice, nice. We could actually put... Uh, if we filled that in, we could actually get a door on there and kind of make it look like a closed wardrobe. It almost looks better open there. Or what happens if we get rid of this? We build it in. What is that gonna look like? Ooh, we could get these. <laughs> nah, that's too much. That that yeah, no. I don't know if I like that. I think it looks better open. So we're going to leave it open. Okay. All right. Pop that back in. Get these. Where are we? Okay, so her things can be over here. We're going to get some pink, pretty pink dresses. Pop those on that side. Is there any... Oh, yeah, girl stuff is over here. Just some nice jumpers and whatnot. Okay, okay. I like that. Mm, it would be fun to have a really cool, like, heels shelving unit over here. What does it look like if we just lift this up a bit? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it kind of looks legit, doesn't it? Just like that. We could maybe put a pillar in the center of this and it could look. Oh, maybe not a pillar or a wall division. Is that? Yeah, because now it actually looks like they are shelves. Oh, what? No, don't delete them. This kind of a thing. And some little ones underneath. Ooh, that's nice. I like it. Uh, we could put mirrors behind them too, which makes it look pretty flashy. Go mirrors behind all of them. Just go all out with the mirroring and just makes the place look bigger. Okay, dokey. Lovely. Okay, so we've got our shoe racks. Uh, we could put a really nice rug kind of a thing under here. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, some kind of... This is... That's too big. 
that's just overkill. We don't like that. No. This, on the other hand, can work if we just go for the the dark one or the. I was thinking like cream and white. White one. Maybe just white on white. Let's keep it ultra classy. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> Said that so classily to you. Ultra classy. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, so we're going to have a lot of man perfumes, tissue boxes, those kind of things. I wish we could lay out jewelry. That would be ultimate. Like Lisa Vanderpump's dresser. Oh my gosh, from the Real Housewives of, Be Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Uh, can you say jealous? It's crazy. Um, okay, we can go with yellow ones and blue ones and pink ones. <laughs> and a few of these. I think the lady of this house has really taken over all of this. Uh, she's she's claimed the whole thing. <laughs> so let's try and put these on like that. And I don't know if there's really much room. The game's not going to let us uh, put those things there. Let's try and shuffle it over like this. Okay. Um. Hmm. that. Yeah, so there's heaps of perfumey things around. Ooh, I love this. Okay, so we just basically moved them all onto the other side. The only bags we have are school bags, and I just don't think they look very good. We have some mail bottles and stuff. What else could we do? We could do these if I unlock them. Um... Uh, Oh, I'm trying to remember. BB dot ignore game play unlocks and type to win it. Okay, where's it gone? Here we go. Have a few of these boxes, which look kind of like shoe boxes in a way. What color would we like them to be? Blue's nice, white's nice. We could probably stack a few of them on top of each other. Hopefully these don't get deleted. Please don't. That's a little bit skewed, isn't it? Hmm. They look a bit more realistic if they're like that. And of course, actually, almost did not even think to put some really nice flowers on here. We could do a rose in the middle. I feel like we need like a really nice big bunch of flowers on there. Mm, maybe just the roses, look. Put the roses on this table. Like that. In the middle. And then maybe another lot on this table. Uh, so there's quite a lot of flowers in this house. Mm, a lot of plants. They like they like their plants. You know what? Let's just do the same ones again. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, and I guess we could put towels or something. That's true. Those there. Mm, they look a bit weird. Let's just put another box over there on that side. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so now I think all we need to finish it off is a nice couch to sit on. And that should probably do it. I think we've done pretty well. Uh, what kind of couch? We could go yellow. Green, blue, green, blue. Dark blue, red. Purple. Kind of feeling for the whites with the greys on it. 
Uh, so we can have that at the end of the room. And maybe a little stool next to the little dressing stool thing on the edges of these. Excellent. Okay, and oh, actually, I might just for the last part actually put some lighting in the uh, areas of where the jackets and things are because we want it all lit up looking fabulous. So I'll just unlock the painting ones. Um, that'll look cool, but I'll go into some screenshots for you guys to have a look at our marvelous masterpiece as always. <laughs> and uh, let me know what kind of build you want me to do next um comment down below if you can think of any room build you might like to see I'll put this on the gallery so it'll be available for download under the username Delicracy or I'll put it under the hashtag Delicracy. all right guys thanks so much for watching I hope you're having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and I'll speak to you soon